What's going on guys? Dave here at the Reed Aquarium Shop in Indianapolis, Indiana, and we have new product. All right, so what we have here in front of me is one of the latest products from Seachem. They released it on their Aqua Vitro line, which means it's only available at your local fish stores. So this is a line of what they are calling shrimp enrichment accessories, and I think they are, one, super adorable and fantastic. So there's kind of two different types of these I've noticed. There's your huts and tubes and larger pieces like these, and then there's more accessory-like accessories, like the cubes or the cone stacks, pipes, and stars. These stars and the cubes are pretty cool and probably my favorites. What I'm gonna do right now is open all of these up, get them out into my hands and up close to you so you can check them out as well and stick around at the end of the video because we're gonna put these in our shrimp tanks at the shop so you can see them in action. The first one I'm gonna bust out is, I think I wanna start with these huts. Now, I'm gonna read the back of the package and this is the same on all of them here. The Aqua Vitro Shrimp Enrichment Accessories a Refuge to Ease Stress and avoid predation. Uh, so these provide really great cover, especially when those shrimp are malting. Small shrimp, fish, and other animals naturally seek out seclusion from time to time to ease stress and avoid predation. Small shrimp in particular are vulnerable when they shed their exoskeleton, and female shrimp carrying eggs often seek out dark areas to protect themselves and their eggs. Without refuge, it is common for females to abandon their eggs. Aqua Vitro Shrimp Enrichment Accessories, that's these, are ideal for providing this type of refuge. In addition, they can act as a substrate for fine algae and or biofilm to develop, which are considered important food sources for many small shrimp. So not only are these going to provide cover, they are made in such a way to attract biofilm and small algae to actually feed your shrimp. That's pretty neat. So let's go ahead and bust this one open. This is the tall hut. Out of the rest of these, I would say this is going to be the biggest one. But yeah, it's very, uh, it's very terracotta clay-like. But this is super cool. The texture in here is fantastic. You can see, like these look, these look pretty handmade. To be honest, I don't know what the actual process is, but these look nice. These look original, unique. I'm a fan. This one even has like a little doorway up front. You see that with this little chimney? I, I think these are super cool. These are adorable. I'm, I'm excited about them. All right, so that's the tall hut. Next up the small hut this is uh very similar <laughs> to it's pretty much the same as the tall hut it's just a small hut but again the texture is super cool on these and yes this is absolutely going to attract like a little biofilm or some micro algaes to grow on there to actually feed your shrimp super neat next up let's do the dome so uh the dome is just that it looks like a tiny little jungle gym that you would find on a playground. This is this is basically just creating a playground for your shrimp. How neat is this? After that, we've got the tube. As you can see, it is pretty tube-like uh, and has all those open spaces. And these are going to be really cool. You can create like a whole scape with these. This is just a super neat product from Seachem and I'm, I'm thrilled about it. They're so tiny. All right, so these are your bigger items. And now we're gonna move on to what I've dubbed the accessory-like accessories. Let's start off with the pipes. Now, ooh, there's a... Uh, there's multi-packs in these small ones. It doesn't, it's not just one single item here, um, but these pipes are really small. These are, uh, in texture-wise, these are much smoother than the huts are. So 
I imagine that's going to be the same. Uh, you can look at the material, so like the, the tubes, the stars, and the cubes are kind of this grayish material and look to be uh, uh, the same as these, so they should be smoother. Whereas these huts, the, uh, the dome, the tube, and the stacks here are made with this almost more uh, clay or terracotta-like uh, material. So these tubes, super cool, and these feel, so I thought these were, like they aren't like thick, thick, but these feel, all of this feels uh, pretty durable. I don't feel like I'm just gonna like crush it in my hand. That was a concern of mine when I actually looked at these um, when, before opening them. Uh, this is the first time I've actually jumped into the package. Um, but I was, my initial concern was that they were going to be a little, uh, a little weak, um, but these are very, uh, very sturdy i'm i'm impressed uh but two pack we got five here and even in this you can you can create little uh little setups of whether this is going to be easier with substrate but you get the idea and i'm going to again show you this in our tanks at the shop at the end of the video so that you can see these in action and next up let's go ahead and do the uh the stacks since we were just talking about them being the uh, same material as the huts dome and big tube uh, so this is another multi-pack. There's going to be three in here. Um, and on these really, uh, these remind me a lot of the discus cones that we sell as well. Um, same basic type of material, same kind of layout, uh, but just a different visual aesthetic. Uh, these almost look like, um, it almost looks like piping. At the end, there's the, uh, the bell flare there. Uh, and at the other side, uh, it looks, it's, it's not, but there's uh, lines there. kind of looks like um, like where you would screw it into something. I don't know. Kind of neat. I really, uh, I really like these as some texture and some more, some more visual aesthetic uh, outside of just these tubes. That's the stacks. Next up, one of my personal favorites, let's go ahead and pop out these stars. I'm kind of pumped about these ones. Uh, the stars are also the ones I'm most excited to kind of just see shrimp crawling all over. I think that's just going to be a neat shot. And in the package, there are five of those. Uh, so as you can see, pretty unique, pretty straightforward. They're just going to set up like this. Uh, and yeah, your shrimp are gonna crawl over, all over them. I just think these are uh, a super unique design. It's something you don't see. It's not a regular piece of deco, like a, a little a little mushroom or a, or a, a ship or you know something like that. Um, and it's not natural either. It's man-made. It stands out, but it blends in, and I uh, and I really enjoy that. Um, that was uh, that was some very nice thought that went into the design of these. All right, that's the stars. Let's bust out these cubes. This is going to be the last of these, uh, what, eight different products for, um, or eight different, not just products, but shrimp accessories, shrimp enrichment accessories. But this is another one, uh, the cubes. Uh, this comes with five of them. Uh, now, remember what I was talking about just a moment ago, uh, my main concern was the, uh, the sturdiness of these, and honestly, the cubes are the first one where I feel like, okay, these could be a little delicate, but I mean, look at them. <laughs> uh, that that has potential to be a little a, a little delicate. Now these are still the the, the same material we've been uh, working with on the other smaller stuff outside of the stacks here, um, and uh, and yeah, it's just it's it's much lighter. There's 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 much less to it, but I I mean the the construction of them, it's it's still pretty pretty durable. I could honest, I feel comfortable pressing harder on this, but I really don't want to push my luck. <laughs> So that's the new line of shrimp enrichment accessories from Seachem's Aqua Vitro line. Very cool. I'm really digging this. I haven't even stuck these in a tank yet for my shrimp to crawl all over, and I am still going to highly recommend them to you. Uh, now, let's finish up the video by doing exactly what I was just talking about. 
putting them in a tank full of shrimp. Also keep an eye out on our channel for another video of some shrimp products coming out. Also on the Aqua Vitro line, this may be the newest shrimp product that Sea Kim has put on the market, but it is not their only shrimp product that has been on the market. So we're gonna talk about those chemicals coming up in the next video, but for now, let's go stick these in a tank.